in on a program to stop youth violence in Birmingham that city leaders tell us is working. Now uh, listen to this. The data shows more than 50% of murder victims in Birmingham ages 13 to 22 were previously in the Jefferson County Family Court System. That's where the idea for the Restore program came from. Bria Chapman is live and now on your side to talk us, to us about the positive impacts that they're seeing. Yeah, that's right, Sarah. Positive is right. So data from the Restore program shows that a child's upbringing has a direct link. A child's upbringing has direct link to violent crimes that we see amongst teens and young adults. But the Restore program is changing that narrative. A 47% reduction in youth charged with murder is, is huge. Numbers like these have a lot to do with the work Restore is doing. Three, two, one. Numbers like these have a lot to do with the work the Restore program is doing and is happening fast. March 1 of 2023, we're not a year old. That's Carrie Buntain who works three, two, one. That's Carrie Buntain who works with five other people, including juvenile court judge Janine Hunt Hilliard. Studies show that more than 80% of murders committed by people 22 years or younger had previous contact with family court. But I want to tell you that what I see in the courtroom from the Restore program makes all the difference in the world. That's right. The young ladies and the young men who come through my court may have made some bad decisions, but we have to guide them and show them what to do in order to rehabilitate themselves. And they aren't only helping these children, but also their families. I want to make sure when they come back that that family dynamic has changed. So they're coming back to positivity, um, a lot of interagency referrals where we can start work with parents on getting them back into educational programs, getting them better jobs, getting them careers, and then working with the siblings or the best friends or the cousins and implementing the workshops with them so that they can come and get some real tools to be able to build success. The city of Birmingham gave the program another round of funding of more than $200,000. And Councilor Latanya Tate says there is more work to be done, but they are pleased with the progress. In the state of Alabama, you can be charged the age of 16 as an adult. And so we have to start early, you know, in the middle schools and the high schools that attack, you know, the issues around conflict resolution, around violence at, at a young age. Yeah, and that shift in mindset is working. From 2022 to 2023, there was an 18% decrease in murder victims under the age of 22. And they will continue, Restore will continue to work with the youth every week, twice a week. Reporting live in downtown Birmingham, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.